Western comics will be a thing of the past if they don't do this. All right, my brothers and my sisters from another mister. Look, I enjoy American comics, but let's get real. The manga media in Japan is unequivocally surpassed Western comics. It is no longer up for debate. It is just a fact. South Korea has also been particularly bold in the past couple of decades. Websites like webtoons.com are a global sensation. They allow creators from all over the world to post and promote their work for free. There is also a high chance of getting featured if an editor finds your story interesting. You can make money without getting featured too, thanks to their ads program. But when you get featured, you're offered monthly compensation for your work. It's a neat deal in my opinion. Gone are the days when you need a local publisher to get your story out there. Personally, I'm an author of four books and my most recent book, I self-published. I think it's amazing to give people a free market and platform to publish their work for the world to see. So what does the success of Japanese manga, Korean manhwa, and Chinese manhwa have to do with Western comics? It has everything to do with it. They have found a way to keep people hooked to their works. Want to know what I'm talking about? Just go to webtoons.com, look for something you may find interesting, and then watch yourself spending dollars for coins just so you can get the next chapter right away. Note that I haven't even got into the woke nature of American comics yet because, I mean, it's kind of obvious. But I did address that in another video. I'll put the link in description. It's the picture that you're seeing right now on your screen. But what we're talking about here is something else. While Japanese manga are cheap, easily accessible, and regular in their delivery, Western comics are slow. They may have high quality pages and whatnot but when people are hooked they want things fast stop being a bitch and come on look at one piece for example brought to you by one man this series has recently surpassed batman and is now second to only superman keep in mind that superman has been around for almost a century but for one piece it has only been two and a half decades and i'm not saying that two and a half decades is a short period of time what i'm saying is what that time implies for the past 25 years or so one piece has regularly published three to four chapters every month with the exception of only two one month breaks it ever took in between millions of people all over the world desperately wait for the next chapter to drop they are hopelessly in love with this series and yes one piece is just one series we have no idea how deep the manga avalanche goes and this isn't even about quality it's about consistency and availability one piece fans have consistently been fed for the past 25 years who knows it may very well dethrone superman during this decade and by the way the creator of one piece ichiro oda is ninth on the list of top 10 best-selling fiction authors of all time jk rowling from harry potter is the 10th here are a few things we could learn from one piece western comics Comics need to focus on long-running narratives more than just the next Superman or Batman reboot. There are two complacent. It's one of the reasons why I love reviewing Spawn on this channel, plus it's a gangster story in my opinion. They also need to be cheaper, more accessible, and more consistent in their delivery. Though limited prints, exclusive covers, and ratios are really cool in my opinion. And by the way, before I go any further, check out RatedComics.com for some really cool exclusives and comics, but one has to wonder if it complicates things, or not really. The thing here is that many creators in the West are already making bank thanks to their successful series on webtoons.com or a similar site. Lore Olympus and Unordinary are but a few examples who attract millions of readers every week. They deliver regularly and are mostly free to read unless you want the latest 3 to 10 chapters right away. That's right, more than it is a matter of wokeism or being politically correct, it's also a matter of being convenient and economical. And people love convenience. Personally, I would pay for convenience. Most of us pay for Uber Eats anyway. A counter argument to this would be how it takes a special kind of person to commit to something as long as One Piece. Well, there is an endlessly vast variety of manga series classified by genres, demographics, and themes. They are serialized in magazines that are released either weekly or monthly. Every feature has the latest chapters of like 12 to 24 series. Who wouldn't want a piece of that? And when there is this much demand, the creators have to try harder. I believe the Western comic industry underestimated the dedication of Japanese creators to put their heart onto that cheap black and white paper. With just black and white ink without any colors, these people can take you to uncharted lands of imagination through their creativity. Plus there is a wide range of manga magazines. Some are for teenage boys, some are for teenage girls, some are for kids, and yes, there is also some for fully grown adults. <laughs> Yeah, boy. But the level of censorship differs by what magazine the manga is being 
published in. But sometimes, everything goes. It's this bold nature of the stories coupled with the insane dedication to consistently deliver is the reason why so many people around the world literally find their week ruined if the chapter doesn't show up when it's supposed to. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, guys. Maybe I am a little bit, or maybe not. This is what the Japanese manga industry, the Korean manhwa industry, and Chinese manhwa industry, and now global webtoons industry is doing, and they are clearly succeeding at whatever they're doing. The currency of the modern day world is attention. If you can't keep the readers hooked by long running narratives, regular deliveries, and easy accessibility, you may survive, but you can't win. There's also the fact that the Japanese anime industry works in coherence with the manga industry to compound each other's success so it's kind of hard to win there anyway given that american filmmakers and adapters like to put their own spin to the comic source but just like how south korea became such a big deal globally thanks to their manhwas and webtoon platforms the west also has a clear shot at returning to their former glory like i said man i do enjoy comics now succumbing to wokeism and relying on inclusion to get attention is not the way people read stories because they want to feel a certain way people read stories because they want to feel a certain emotion Motion, they won't continue to read yours if all you're doing is shoving political propaganda down their throat. There's a lot of talent in the West and everyone knows it. There are also some really cool and really good comics out there. <laughs> Spawn, for one, and many others. Great stories will continue being told regardless. What I believe the West can implement is a proper system. A platform, a systematic approach that prepares the stage for creators to succeed. If the West won't provide it, people will find it elsewhere. A system that lets creators tell their stories the way they want to, albeit with proper guidance in the form of editors. I think this will do wonders for the industry and in a few years and only serve to increase the global interest in comics. Although for now, Japanese manga market or East Asia as a whole has a monopoly on everyone's attention in the manga comic medium. And yes, they're only going to continue to get bigger and bigger while the Western comics succumb because of their complacency. Now that's just my opinion from some bald dude on the internet. What you guys think of the video, comment below let me know and also if you follow this channel i have love for comics but i felt this subject was worth talking about and if you like the content we're throwing up like the video subscribe to this channel here are rated comics to do awesome comic book reviews and comic book related content thank you again for watching until next time